This is a brief tutorial on how to create quizzes using the Epson Marksheet application. You file open a quiz template, and then we select from the left panel the Edit Marksheets panel button, which brings up the Quiz Questions dialog. And then we type in a title and our description. The title here will be a quiz about France. And then we'll type in a description, or actually in this case, a, an instruction. Select the correct answers. And then we move on to entering our first question. What is the capital of France? <clears throat> Now, you always enter the first um, choice is actually the answer, and then you follow that up by the other choices. And the choices and answer will be uh, randomized automatically so they don't actually appear in the same order that you're, we're typing them in here. We hit Apply, and we go ahead and enter in another question. You'll see that in the right list box there, there's the answer for the question that you had entered. Next question we'll enter is, what is the official language of France? And note, the um, caption for the question um, is subheading true, false, multiple choice. When we type in the, the word French as our answer, the letter F lets the uh, application know that it might be a true, false, but then when I fill in the rest of the word, it knows that it's multiple choice. And then um, we enter the other languages. And again, the choices and answer will not appear in the same order. They will be randomized. I've just added another question there real quickly. France is made up of how many regions? And now I'm going to add a subheading. The next three questions are multiple choice. Please select only one choice per question. And I don't enter an answer and choice in this case. And I hit apply. But my subheading is actually below the three multiple choices. So now I need to select it and move it up. And then I hit Update, now that it's above the three questions there. And now I want to add an open response dialog box, or open response um, actually area on the quiz where kids can enter their um, writing their responses. So I say, in the box provided below, write the names of <clears throat> at least six countries that border France. And then in the answer section, I need to enter um, angle brackets and the width of the box that I want, which is 900 pixels. And in this case, I'll go ahead and put 150 pixels high, give them enough space to write their stuff in. And then I hit Apply. That actually creates an open response area on the form on our quiz. And now I'll enter in uh, some four uh, true and false statements. <coughs> and this will be a, a little heading that we'll create here. Just hit apply without entering an answer or choices. And now I can go ahead and type in the uh, true-false statement. France is located in Eastern Europe, and that's a false. And so as soon as I type in the letter F, it recognizes it's true or false. Now we could actually have just written F and left it as that, or I can type out the whole word and hit apply. You don't need to enter the true because it's just automatically assumed. <clears throat> that it's going to be true-false statements. I've also added three other extra questions there real quick. Um, so this is what our quiz is looking like now, with the open response in the middle there. To see the answers, we go to View Answers to make sure that we have the answer set correctly. And then we want to make sure that we turn those off before we print out the list of, uh, or print out this um, quiz for the students. Now we add users or students to our list. And we do that by uh, clicking the left panel Add Users button. And then we bring up the Manage Users dialog box. 
and enter in the last name and first name of each student and add them. And so this list of students you only need to do once. And then once all your students are added, then you can select the um, users that you want to be taking the test. And in this case, this is uh, the mark sheet, a quiz about France. And so we'll go ahead and select all students who will be taking this test. And we move them over to the mark sheet users panel. Now we hit OK. And now we can go ahead and print out a mark sheet for each student. When we select the mark sheet and hit print, what we want is we want to also select all the students that will be, um, their names will actually appear on the mark sheet for each student, and we hit print. <coughs> now, I've printed out all the mark sheets, and um, once I get all the mark sheets out, then I hand out each student their respective mark sheet and then um, they mark them up and then I get them back and then we scan them. So now I just hit the scan button on the same dialog there and it goes through and opens up a few dialogs, makes some settings and then closes those dialogs back down again. You don't have to do anything with those. Um, and then it goes through and starts the scanner and then once it starts pulling the, the paper through it'll automatically be taking an image of each of the mark sheets and then um, it, uh, it'll automatically grade each respective sheet and so you can see the name of the students up in the top right hand corner coming in there and their grades as they're being scanned. So I placed all these images or the sheets of paper on the automatic document feeder on the printer and it's just pulling them through one by one. You can see that students mark them up uh, differently. And now we go to view the scores of all the students that we just ran through here. And a EMC file is created for the mark sheet. <coughs> and this is a chart file that shows the scores. And now we can see all the open responses. The green boxes show the answers, and the red boxes show the um, uh, the wrong, the students that made a, a mistake. And then the yellow boxes are all the open responses. And now we can actually click on a yellow box and or a blue box, which means that it has been edited. Click on it again, we can actually change the score or maybe give it three points. And then um, click on the next one and then click on that box enter a score for that one. <coughs> and so you, you'll be able to actually see, cycle through each of the uh, open responses really quickly for each student and apply a score for each one. And then in the uh, section just below this um, uh, layout of answers and selections, you also have a little grid uh, chart that shows the answer in green, how many students selected the right answer, and which was happened to be the fourth one in that first list there. And then we go to um, My Events Online <coughs> and select our a Quiz About France. And we can see all the students have actually uh, been recorded up there and their scores have been brought up. So that's it in a nutshell.